Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today tutorial is going to be really simple because we are creating stylized wearer in a blender. So let me show you how it's done. Let's open the blender and delete the default cube. Then shift A to add a mesh and select a circle. Now here change the number of vertices 24 next scale the circle by pressing s and then x to scale along the x axis press e to extrude the circle select the edges control tab now here select all the edges Add here bevel, press Ctrl B for beveling, adjust the segment with the scroll wheel, lastly select the faces, press X and delete the faces. Next tap back to object, select all by pressing A, right click and choose sub subdivided to add more vertices, scale the object. With the S key, add here a thickness. For thickness, go to modifier properties and select solid file and increase the thickness. Shift A, select a circle shape, scale it, then tap and extrude in a Z axis for extrude, use the key E. Now here again tab, here applying thickness using the solid file, adjusting the thickness as needed. Right click and select shade auto smooth for smoothener. To duplicate a ring, select the ring with Alt Shift click, press Shift D to duplicate, drag it to desired location. Create a panel, pressing Shift A and add a circle adjust its size to fit around the circle tap into edit mode select all and press F to fill the shape then extrude the circle on the bottom side. Next, select the ring and the copy, place it on the top of the main cube. To hide the ring, press H, then select the cube and duplicate pressing Shift D and rotate it along Y axis. Click on top of the barrel tube and press shift A to add a cube, scale it along the Y axis, add a loop cut, 
app and by pressing ctrl r and adjust here some vertices Remove unnecessary edges by selecting them, pressing X, then choosing Resolve Edges. Select the back side face and extrude it. Perform another loop cut by pressing Ctrl R and positioning it. Extrude the bottom side by pressing E. Here, copy the panel, press Shift D and rotate in Y axis. And select all, rotate along the Y axis. Now here create a barrel holding stand, first press shift A and select Q, scale, right and press 3 in the side angle, add some loop cut for use Ctrl R, then adjust some edges here. Duplicate the cube by pressing Shift A. Now create the stand for the lower parts. Use the Shift A to add a cube, scale it, and adjust it along Y axis. Repeat the same of both sides. Create a diamond shape, press Shift A and add a cube, scale it and adjust its size and, and tap and scale it in the middle point. Placing the copies in a sequence for each side. Now here create a chain holder. So pressing Shift A and select cylinder 
rotate it as needed. Enter edit mode, select the faces and press I to insert the face and press E to extrude inwards. Again press I to insert. Then right click shade auto smooth. To make a cylinder look smooth. Now here create a chain. Use a torus shapes to create a chain link. Right click shade auto smooth. Duplicate them to extend the chain. For a copy, press Shift T. Now here we need to add lights for pressing shift A, add a light, area light, increase their power 2000, the area light and position area lights on the right side and bottom for balance lighting now adjust their power setting here add the material Select the object, go to the tray properties and choose the base color or add on image texture. Then select on the variety. Tab press U to unwrap mode and adjust the UV wrap for texture orientation rotate here the texture then click on layout mode now here add a name wooden material Then add metal material which is a for chain and diamond cube. So select for each object, go to material properties and choose a gray color. Increase the metallic. Here mention the name metal material. So apply here wood and metal material each object. Now here add a background, so click on inward properties, select color, then image texture, add an HDRI image for a realistic background 
adjust its strength to fit your scene. Now here adjust the lighting. Balance light source to illuminate object even if you're using the image HDRI. Adjust the density to enhance your scene. For rendering setup, choose a cycle render engine for quality, enable GPU compute. For faster rendering, use denoising for cleaner image. Position your camera for the best angle, adjust settings like local length and depth to fill for depth and focus. To finish, press Ctrl Alt R to render your final image with the stylized bird. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, comment and subscribe for more Blender tips and tutorials. Thank you.